Now Delhi is one team that well I had as my top four. Did you have them as your top four? No, you didn't. Did. But I, I, they were among the six probable for me. I mean, oh, they could have. Oh, been. by the way, basically, Joy yeah. said two, two have a chance of qualifying and eight may or may not. No, I have two have a chance of qualifying. Four are. Yeah, he six did something between. else. I'll and two have no, no, no. He did no, two. Not. This was two, two, six. अच्छा खेला आपने. आप फिर क्या? But Delhi, we had and Delhi, of course, lost uh, their captain Rishabh Pant. That was a big blow for Huge. them. Huge. But then they got a guy who is one of three foreigners to win the IPL. That's David Warner, 2016 with Sunrisers. Uh, they got into this team, but look at their start. One after the other, they lost, and with every loss, you saw them falling into that trap that I call Habada Dabri dot com. Habada Dabri, right? It was just helter skelter. How about that, buddy? You said confusion started happening. 22 of the players out of 25 played. The Indian batters, where were they batting? Who were they? They kept changing. No, did they have Indian no, batters? Nobody got a run. Who so, were the Indian batters? So let's count the Indian batters that they have, right? So Man, Prithvi Shaw, Manish Pandey, Yash Dhul, Sarfaraz, Ripple, Akshar, Abhishek Porel. It's like they had like eight or nine Indian. Akshar batters. was the second highest run getter. Yep. Akshar Patel. Yeah. And so look some, at the batting averages. You know, highest is 17.78. It's almost as if they're saying, "Khabardar, 20 tak pahunche to." Yeah, correct. Isme abhi kuch naam nahi hai. This Akshar is not there. Lalit Yadav, yes. Aman Khan, correct, right? So they had a so good many. nine or ten Indian middle order batters. And because these guys are not doing well, they had to top load the overseas oh, batters. I, I have a question for that though. But have you given them a long enough run to allow them to do well? Because yeah. two games or three games is not enough. Right? Yes. That's not enough. I mean, they were. They And have. If you been... look at those first five games, yeah, they've lost each by a big margin. Mm -hmm. So they've they've started with they had Nokia, they had Mustafizur playing couple of games. Then Nokia came late. Then Nokia went home. Yeah. They didn't use Lungi at all. But eventually, they said we have no choice but to go with Salt because when Rishabh went away, they lost a captain and a keeper. Correct. Now suddenly there was no other Indian keeper. But there was Porel. So Porel came in. Once Porel came Porel in. Porel got a great catch. He had a couple of good hits, but the, he only got. I thought he got two games. Two, three games. Two, three he was, games. Like, he was one of my players of the week. Yeah. One of my moments of the week was. Yeah. Was he he took an excellent catch. I yeah. remember. I kept talking. I was And like, I spunk about him. I yeah. Spunk. But they tried Sarfaraz as a keeper. They tried moving. Sarfaraz as a keeper. I think we can unanimously agree was an experiment that did not but work. Those two names at the top. We yeah. talked about uh, KL about Manish Pandey. Yeah. Similarly, Prithvi Shaw. Uh, I'm you're talking Manish Pandey. Now. Well, I'm sorry, but I see down below. I'm I'm so sorry. Sorry <laughs> to interrupt you, Harsha. But Abhishek Porel got four opportunities. That's it. So he's got four opportunities for 33. So I sorry, think. I thought only two games. He has got four. I think Yash Dhur is a quality player, but didn't get enough opportunities in that side. But Manish Pandey, Prithvi Shaw, that's... Priyam Garg. Yeah, Priyam Garg got a game or two. Yeah. But and he came in as a as a, as a replacement. Manish Pandey, Prithvi Shaw. When you've got in the top four two Indian batters with great experience, and last year Prithvi Shaw, David Warner was one of the opening partnerships of the tournament. Correct. Suddenly Prithvi Shaw <laughs> just falls off the cliff, hmm. and then they decide to leave him out. They're not happy with what is happening on the field. They're not happy with what's happening off the field. They don't want Prithvi Shaw around. So now suddenly they've got to find another opener, and there was just comings and goings and comings and goings. And as we've said so often on this program, the team was helmed by two people who always showed a lot of faith in players, both Ponting and Ganguly. Yeah. Now all of a sudden, there's change happening all the time, which is something that I didn't understand. Yeah. But maybe it was driven. Maybe they just looked and said, "With this team, we can't win." Okay. I don't know. No, yeah, look, you, I'm, you're I'm, so I'm right. Saying who whose team is it? But yeah, fair. Is it Ganguly's team? Is it Ponting's team? Because see, is it Warner's team? Is it Warner's team? Because again. You you put it that way. You say you know Ponting is the coach and he's going to do it. But if you look at that coaching staff, that coaching staff for me, for whatever it is, looks bloated. And I'll tell you why. There's Ajit Agarkar. There's James well. Hopes as well. Okay. So there, who's the bowling coach then? You know, you look at the batting. There's Praveen Amre also out there. And with Shaur of Ganguly and Ricky Ponting, Shane Watson, Shaur of Ganguly, Ricky Ponting. Yeah. Yeah. With Ricky Ponting right. and Shaur of Ganguly out there, you need a batting coach. I mean, literally. If Shaurav Ganguly is around that dugout and Ricky Ponting is around that dugout, so all I am saying is sometimes what happens is because you have it's a shared management, you want to keep both sides support staff happy. So you're saying, okay, you know, if you guys want these guys, we'll have them. We'll have our own as well. Oh, okay. The problem is that 
it's not a problem that and all these are good people not one of these people are people that you don't think are not good but what happens is when you have two people to for one person's job you dilute responsibility it's not about diluting quality of playing it is diluting responsibility mm. because who is now responsible for the bowling yeah also sometimes younger players can get different advice from different coaches yeah, and yeah, that yeah, might yeah, just confuse yeah. like, who am i going to who is telling me so i think yeah. delhi needs to sort its dug out or out as well it needs to sort sort its indian players who we thought they had a really rich vein of for a very long time mm. but it needs to sort its dug out players who didn't get games man looking at rohman power yeah rohman yeah. power is captain of the west indies white one of the west indies white ball sides yeah and a proper proper hitter in a good season Oof. last year yeah. it didn't help that marsh salt russo power were all playing on wickets they didn't like yeah all of them they all good hard wicket batters yeah all delhi. they didn't get wicket delhi just delhi doing delhi things